Biden's advisor warns of possible Russian nuclear strike if U.S. provides more military aid to Ukraine. National Security Advisor to the President of the United States of America, Jake Sullivan, believes that Russia could launch a nuclear strike on the United States if it provides Ukraine with too much military assistance. This was stated by Representative Michael McCall in an interview with Puck. Jake is too cautious, he's very timid, and he bought into the idea that if we give them too much, Russia will use tactical nuclear weapons on us. Most of the intelligence I've seen suggests they won't do that, because this would be a game changer for everyone, the politician said. The politician believes that President Joe Biden is also cautious on this issue. He calls them sort of like-minded people. But I just think Sullivan was too timid, too cautious, too cautious and everything is too provocative. But the crazy thing is that everything he has worried about has already been agreed upon. We are bringing it in. It's just that too little, too late, he added. He says that at the beginning of the full-scale war, US Secretary of State Antony Blinken advocated transferring MiGs to Ukraine. It's not him, in my opinion. It's Jake Sullivan and the White House. It's a very timid reaction. I like Colin Powell's doctrine. You're either in or you're out. Don't stop halfway. You know, we're giving Putin exactly what he's got, once. It's a stalemate, a war of attrition, and he has more bodies to throw, McCall added. McCall also says that the Republican electorate does not understand that 80% of American funds allocated for military assistance to Ukraine remain in the states. We have a map that we show people. It's a map of all the states where the money is going, the jobs. In the beginning, I said, why don't we just make it a Defense Department weapons account? But Jake Sullivan thought that would be too complicated. So it's money for Ukraine, but actually most of it will go towards investment and modernization of our reserves. We are dumping the old in Ukraine, he explained. As is known, since the beginning of the full-scale war, representatives of the Russian government have been hinting at and sometimes directly threatening nuclear strikes against Ukraine or Western countries. Head of Tatarstan advised Russians not to rely on air defense systems after drone attacks. After drone strikes on targets in Yelabuga and Nizhnekamsk, the authorities of Tatarstan called on the region's enterprises not to rely on the air defense of the Russian armed forces to repel attacks but to defend themselves independently, states the head of the Russian region Rustam Minikanov. According to RBC Ukraine, during a speech at an international energy forum, he commented on the early morning strikes on April the 2nd at a plant producing Shahed Kamikaze drones and an oil refinery and noted the inability of air defense systems to protect enterprises and facilities in the Russian region of Tatarstan from air attacks. You should not expect missile defense to work. It solves other tasks. The president of Tatarstan said, according to him, locals should solve these tasks on their own. In every enterprise, every municipality and every city. Minikarnov added that the strikes on the Taneko plant and the Alabuga Polytech demonstrated the most vulnerable areas in Tatarstan and that the enemy feels it. The Almighty has given us a chance. Wake up, guys! No one will protect us but ourselves said the head of the Russian region. He also called on local emergency services to be prepared for emergencies or other incidents. Earlier, it was reported that on April the 2nd, drones from the defense forces attacked enterprises in the Republic of Tatarstan in Russia for the first time. The explosions occurred in the special economic zone Alabuga, where industrial enterprises are located over a thousand kilometers from the border with Ukraine. At that time, the so-called head of the Republic, Rustam Minikanov, stated that drone attacks had been carried out on enterprises in the cities of Yelabuga and Nizhnekamsk. According to a source in the special services, the target of the attack was the assembly plant for Shahed drones. In addition, Russian media reported that drones also hit a dormitory where workers of this enterprise lived. There are known casualties. According to Andriy Yusov, a representative of the Defense Intelligence of Ukraine, during the attacks on Russian facilities in Yelabuga and Nizhnykamsk, foreign weapons were not used. He also confirmed that one of the affected objects in Tatarstan was involved in the assembly of Shahed and Geran drones. Furthermore, one of the buildings located near the enterprise was hit by Russian air defense. By the way, at the end of March, the partisan movement Atesh reported that in Russia, the heads of oil refineries were instructed 
to purchase electronic warfare systems, use camouflage and strengthen the protection of tanks with sandbags. All of this is to counter drone attacks.